Hi, I'm Ann Lewis, and I am here in very rainy London with Jeff Skalski, senior producer on Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Jeff, we can finally talk a little bit more about the story. And as we saw in the game today, when we first arrive in London, that is when the twins first arrive in London as well. Tell me a little bit about what brings them to London. Yeah, so basically right off the bat, we wanted to be very clear to our players. You have two playable assassins for the first time in the franchise, uh, the twins, Jacob and Evie Fry, and Crawford Stark, our main villain, has full control. He's a Grandmaster Templar, full control of London. And so he has seven lieutenants that kind of each hold of empower various aspects of the city itself, from finance, to politics, to the industries, to medicine and science, and then organized crime. So your objective is you know, going in and kind of taking out these targets to basically get to Stark. So since the twins both have very different motives or ways that they want to go about doing this. Can you tell me about, you know, their plans for the city? Yeah, so Jacob's going specifically at the targets and kind of growing his rooks to basically leverage the street gangs themselves to take the fight right to Stark's front doorstep. Evie kind of is, is on the hunt for this ancient artifact, this piece of Eden that she feels if the Templars get control of it, it will not just be, you know, spelled doom for the people of London, but also for the people of the world. So she's on the kind of hunting this down. And while they're doing this, they're gaining special skills that are unique to each of their characters. Can we talk about those skills? Yeah, so basically, the way our skill system is kind of set up, we have a, a common bank of skills that you know typically any assassin would have, and players have choice of how they want to invest those skills for Jacob and Evie separately. Uh, and then there are specific unique skills, a handful of them that are Jacob only and Evie only, that they can kind of master. So it seems like from what I played the assassins don't really want to be back in London. They seem actually a little bit afraid of going back to London. Why is that? Yeah, basically, London's in complete control of the Templars, uh, so they don't think it's the right time to strike. So the guidance to both Jacob and Evie is, is patience. They, they want to wait for the right time. But Henry Green, who's uh, another assassin from India, who's actually in London, is, is calling for help. And the big bad guy in this is Crawford Stark. He's well, he's got really cool hair, for one. Very cool hair. Nice little mustache. But can you tell me a little bit about him as a person? Uh, you know, he's, he's one of those characters uh, which I really appreciate as a villain. He's actually one of my favorite villains so far in the franchise. He can say some things that seem really smart and really... Uh, they don't come off uh, treacherous or evil-minded, but then he completely can turn all of a sudden like a switch. And then you're like, whoa, this guy's kind of crazy. So since you can switch back and forth between the twins, how exactly does the mission structure break down? What types of missions would Jacob be taking on versus the types of missions Evie might take on? So yeah, so basically at the center of our game, it's an open world game. And in the open world, the player can decide if they want to play as Evie or Jacob. So how they want to go about conquering the boroughs, um, building up their gang, they can do all that as either Jacob and Evie. If they want to do fight club or bounty hunts, either one. Uh, then there's the actual main missions themselves, and there are specific ones that are for Jacob and specific ones that are for Evie. You know, for us it was really important. We want players to laugh. You know, it's, we, we can take ourselves so much, you know, so serious, but we want to have these kind of breaks where people can hear these funny one-liners or see the banter like you're talking about, you notice, between Jacob and Evie, as any kind of typical brother and sister would have in a relationship, uh, as well as all the various different characters that you meet, or even the random things you might hear on the streets at that time. So uh, it was really important for us, and uh, I really do believe this might be the funniest Assassin's Creed we've done yet. And with such a colorful cast of characters, do you have a favorite? Um, honestly, it's almost like asking me who my favorite kid is. Uh, and it's the, I mean, they're all so memorable in their own way and have their uh, little quirky uh, char uh, characteristic and one-liners. Uh, Aberline is, is, is a funny character for me. You know, the guy in disguise, but really? You don't look that disguised? And we really leaned in on that, you know, as we were kind of going through mocap and writing the lines for him. Uh, and the actor did a phenomenal job uh, bringing that character to life. So it's almost like, uh, while one of my favorite things is maybe a specific character, but I also like how Jacob and Evie react with those characters. So uh, yeah, probably Aberline. Great, thank you so much. And when will Assassin's Creed Syndicate be out, and what systems will we be able to play it on? Sure, PS4 and Xbox One on October 23rd, and then PC come November 19th. Awesome, thank you so much. Assassin's Creed Syndicate.